Hi and welcome. I would love to share this amazing story of mine of radar installation. Here we had made a big mistake which could have cost us a lot of dollars and which could have caused a lot of hassle at site. But fortunately this mistake was caught before commissioning. It was caught during the design stages. The simple design concept is sometimes so missed during the design stages that we go with the traditional approach and we never think that for some certain cases where the slope of the tank could be higher we need to look in depth and not just follow the traditional approach but before we get into it first let's look into the traditional approach of how a simple radar installation is done the traditional way of radar installation. Now you would notice here that in this case we know that this is the nozzle and the standout would be this which is very clear the center to center distance. So we call this to be the standout of the nozzle but this is not the case always. There is a different approach to be taken when you are going with tanks which have very high slopes. Let's look into the scenario which happened in our project. So this is your sloping tank for an example. Here we place our nozzle. Now once we take the stand out which is this and we try to insert our radar horn. You would notice that what is the mistake here? The beam of the second side would collide with the longer length of the nozzle. So do you notice here that the beam is colliding and this would lead to an issue in the measurement of radar. But what should we do for such cases? The first thing is to check the measurement. We need to check this length which is the longer side. This length would help us to allow the radar horn to be inserted which goes beyond the nozzle. So how did we do that? We used an extension option. Do you notice here there's an extension put for the radar. This extension option helped us to let the horn protrude outside of the nozzle and the length which was taken was the longer side and we were happy that yes now the length of the horn is so huge that it can go outside the nozzle. So in conclusion you would notice that we need to check that the horn whenever we are having tanks which have very high slope we need to check that the nozzle standout must be considered from the longer side and always remember that whenever you are using a nozzle standout keep some safety margin in case the thickness changes or there is some other changes in the project that you keep a safety margin. I hope you found the video valuable.